You want me to make a birdhouse? All right. The first thing I'm going to do is chop out the material that I need to make up the sides of the birdhouse. I picked up this cedar board at my local home center and it's got a bad cup to it. So I'm going to remove as much of the cup as I can at the joiner, then I'll cut up the width. I face jointed the material to make up the sides, top and bottom. Now I just need to plane them to thickness. With the sides cut the rough length, I can go ahead and cut all my pieces to width. With all the pieces cut to width, I can go ahead and cut out the part for the bottom and for the roof. In order to get the angle right for the sides, I went ahead and clamped this piece together and I went ahead and inserted a piece of wood in the top that is the same length as the bottom. Now with the bevel gauge set to the angle I want, I'll just go ahead and draw a line across both boards. Now I can adjust my blade to the same angle as my bevel gauge. The front's going to consist of a panel that is inserted into a groove all the way around. Instead of planing this down all the way to a quarter inch thick, I've decided to leave it a little thicker and I'm just going to wrap at the edges to make it fit into the groove. With my piece temporarily clamped together with that piece of scrap wood up at the front that's the same width as the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and mark for the angle of the top. Here's a tip to get this correct angle transfer to your miter gauge. I went ahead and made a small tick mark on the throw plate of my table saw. Now all I need to do is line up the pencil mark with the piece of wood with the pencil mark on the throw plate. And when I slide the piece of wood to me, I'll keep adjusting the miter gauge until the mark on the top of the piece of wood also lines up with the same tick mark on the throw plate. And I'll just keep going back and forth, adjusting the miter gauge until they both line up. In order to get this panel to fit into the front groove that we created all the way around the piece, I need to make these edges a quarter inch thick. And I'm going to do that by making a rabbit all the way around this piece. I'm going to form a rabbit all the way around this panel at the router table by using a rabbiting bit. Cut out the section for the back and I'm going to attach the back so that it's able to swivel open so that you're able to clean out the birdhouse when you need to. I'm going to make a hole in the bottom for a nail that will be removable so that you can open and close it. So that's it guys, I hope you liked this week's build and uh, I especially hope the birds like it. And if you get a chance, please subscribe and you can also like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Thanks a lot guys.